uh, passively giving you like 10%. Yeah. Yeah. And it must be extra frustrating, right? Because uh, his character kind of does the same thing. I mean, not with the Pikmin, like with the little minions, but just the damage output is, right. is uh, harassment. But here we go. Key versus I'm hit. So funny. Losers fine. Yeah, I really want to see this. Uh, sorry to cut you off there. But oh, no, no, you're good. Hey, I, really, I really want to see how this is going to go because this was actually considered uh, one of Snake's uh, worst matchups in Brawl. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So we're about to find out just how bad it is or isn't. Maybe he is the key. Yeah, to this maybe. Match. It's just, uh, yeah, the Pikmin were just really good against the grenades. Like, they would always, like, blow up the grenades while he was uh, from far away. I think the mechanic now is better, though, for Snake, since I believe the Pikmin, for some reason, drag items towards yeah, Almar. Yeah, yeah, they pick up the items, right? Yeah, so, like... That's, like, a thing from their game, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, but it, versus Snake, it's like, they pick <laughs> yeah, up the yeah. grenade and bring it right, right to Almar, uh, and he has, I didn't like... Want this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, I wonder what uh, I'm just going to think about when he's approaching this matchup. Hey, we may, if it goes really, really bad, we may actually see the Duck Hunt pick. Yeah, that would be interesting too. I'm not sure how that matchup brand tends new, to go. Brand new matchup. Oh, wow. Let me just roll through you and get the up, so why not? Right now, though, he's playing the matchup really well, which is basically just keep using grenades as much as possible. I mean, Alomar can throw things, but if you're far enough to where you don't have to worry about it too much, oh, and you also get to camp him with the projectile of your own, you're yeah. looking pretty good. Yeah, I can I can totally see why this would be a bad matchup, if not in this game, in Brawl. Uh, Snake is really heavy, so he's not really going to care a whole lot about all of his Pikmin damage, and his uh, projectile zoning game may actually be superior. But just as I say it, I'm hip closing it out with an up air and yep. only taking 32%, so he's sitting pretty right now. Yeah, funny enough, it might just be against I'm hip's play style, but he ha I feel like he has to play more aggressive when it comes against Key because Key's just getting the setup like pretty much unchallenged because I'm hip's trying to just throw things at him. Yeah. And that, that's just uh, I'm hip's play style in general, but he may, as you said, want to consider a switch up here apply a little bit more pressure uh, to prevent Key from really just getting his game plan going. Key pulls out Nikita. Ooh, oh, and no, Tech just Untechable. bounced off the wall. It was, wow. it was untechable. I saw the red splash. Man, that's so, so <laughs> unfortunate for Iron Man, dude. All right, he has to make this dot count or not. Wow, how is, how is Key's recovery? Just, he gets to just air dodge to the ledge yeah. so much, more than anyone I've seen. I think it's uh, probably because people think like, okay, I'm gonna go out there and challenge the Cypher, but because they go out there, he gets to air dodge through whatever attack they're throwing at, towards the Cypher and just grab the ledge. Yeah. Him. And the fact that Cypher has a hitbox of his own, yeah, it's just uh, it can be surprisingly difficult Ooh. to edge guard this character, but not gonna die from the boot throw. Nice. Oh, honestly, it keeps. Yeah, if he dropped this dog, it, it was like still so much work done. Getting almost 60% on uh, all the before dropping the last dog is a lot when you play a uh, character like Snake who kills uh, so early. Blowing himself up a little bit there. Yeah. Not going to be the greatest, especially when uh, I'm hit. He's catching up in percents right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was talking about Key like doing a good job of racking up percent without getting damaged until like I blinked it. Oh, no, and again, too. Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna take any th type of like free damage he can get. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for I'm now. Oh, grab. great pivot grab, up throw with the blue. Yeah, he's out of there. And he had three Pikmin in the line, so that's gonna be extra strong. So I'm hit, uh, taking it. That's game one, right? Yep. Yeah, game one. That's actually pretty surprising. Key had like such a huge like dominant first two stocks. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what really happened there. He started kind of falling apart, starting uh, detonating C fours on himself. Yeah. And uh, once he detonates the C fours on himself, you know he gets launched into the air. Olimar has good aerials to juggle Snake, and Snake is just combo food at that point. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe I, I've seen this with Key a lot now. Is that uh? 
when he's just zoning the, his opponent out, he's playing just so well. It's so hard to approach him. But then sometimes he just approaches, like, with moves that he doesn't really need to. And then that leads to him getting punished, like dash attack. Yeah. Dash attack, it, it's fine if it crosses up the shield, but if, if you're using it a lot, like, in a very pre predictable fashion, it's not that great of a move to just throw out neutral. Yeah. It's, it's like you said, it's something that he starts using, like, not re like, at the very beginning, we didn't really see him use uh, dash attack as much. Maybe he's thinking he needs to, like, mix up his game plan. It's like, I can't keep yeah. doing the same thing, but honestly, if you're doing the same thing and it's working, don't stop. Yeah. Because grenades are just generally safe if you're doing them correctly, like, most of the time. Trying to set something up, he's dead to grab into the grenade and he chases him down with Wow, he died at 91. Oh, man, Olimar's not very heavy at all. Man, that must be the saving grace of playing Snake in this matchup. Oh, until that happens. Dang, sat him down real quick. Yeah, that should for the most part be, especially if Snake is that far out there, it should be a free edge guard for yeah. Olimar, who has a pretty good spike and a uh, Really fantastic recovery, so he's going to make it back, even if he doesn't get the punish. Yeah, going deep like that versus a low cyber recovery is good because you don't, he doesn't have enough room to air dodge up yeah. and hit you with the cypher or get to the ledge because he's just too far off stage. Whereas, like, in that situation, he was a little bit too close. Like, if, if I'm hit, went off stage to try to get him, it, he would have just gave up the stage. Yep, recovery. exactly. Okay. He's sitting at 121% now. Oh, I'm starting to see the familiar hard things about this matchup. Landing, it's difficult, and then once the Olimar knows how to play around your grenade setups, they can just throw the Pikmin at them and just continue to rack up safe percent, which he's pretty much doing right now. He, though, gets a good attack and attack send him off safe. Can cover the landing. No, the jukes, man. Uh, look at all the damage he got. He got explosion, his own, like, two Pikmin, and a forward air. That was, like, 20 plus percent just from loser neutral in one exchange. And then he got the purple Monique for good measure. Two stock. Yeah. I'm hip going up 2 0. Oh, even better than the first game and quicker. Yeah, yeah. Definitely picking up the pace in that second game. Showing dominance. See, can he get a three stock in game three? We'll see. Oh no, I, I did, man. I, I don't know what it is, cause I, I've been around for a while in Smash, and I remember I'm his like very first tournaments. Uh, yeah, he's like just level. He's one of the people that's really like gone from like not good, like brand new scrubby player to like consistent threat in the region. And I always think back like, man, this guy used to be like super, super new. Like he used to like not know anything about Smash, but like. He's, uh, I don't know, he's been favorable to Olimar this whole time. And it's just, it's really shown, like, how he's improved as a player. Yeah, and that's and that's one important thing to know, right? He's a character loyalist. Always been Olimar throughout every single game. So he's got, I mean, a, practically a whole decade and then some of experience with the character. That's definitely going to uh, matter a lot. Yeah, there are subtle differences between each Olimar in uh, each game, but for the most part, your strategy isn't really that different. Yeah, tossing Pikmin, uh, getting those latches and grabs to get damage. Oh! oh gets man. the sour spot of the down air. Luckily for Key, able to live a little bit longer. Oh man, that was such a good shield break setup, and I'm amazed that it didn't actually deplete the shield enough, but oh. wow. I didn't, I, I didn't see the C4, C4 there. Man. <laughs> So I, I died too, man. I died. You know, some people say it's it's unfortunate for Snake the C4 because you can uh, you have the audio cue for when he says like now or there. Yeah. To just shield. But a lot of people don't do that. I mean, I know that was a thing in the other games. I'm not sure if it's the same in this does game. He, does he not say it as it explodes simultaneously? I believe if you hear it, you can just already be buffering shield. Wow, okay. Good to know. Keep that in mind. I'm hit. I mean, that was the case in previous games. I'm not sure if they changed it in this game, but it might still be a thing that a lot of people just don't even realize to react to in the first place. So if you're sitting at home, 
And if you don't know that's the case or not, then you may as well go and try it. Yeah. Go ahead and tweet us. Tweet at us. It'll be good. It'll sure. be good to know. Oh, I thought he, I thought Key was gonna follow up with an aerial there. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to set up for that. All right, recovery high, dropping in with a back air. Wow, that pigment got stomped out, <laughs> and then he just gets the up so Key showing signs of life right now. Up one stock and only at 67 percent. So he's gonna live for a relatively long time as long as he uh, can keep his game plan up for his time hit right now. So he's gonna keep tossing grenades from the opposite side of the stage, aim behind this platform. Uh, meanwhile, I'm hit, kind of just doing the same thing. Yeah. Honestly, I'm hit, but uh, he's taking some damage from this, like, you know, camping battle, but uh, for the most part, I feel like I'm hit is actually getting the better end yeah. of the stick here. He's, he's got the uh, better hit accuracy at that point. He's, he's, he knows how to manage his pigment as uh, he's uh, cycled through them, he, through, until he could get the white, which go uh, way further. He can toss it farther and get it latched on for that extra damage on the snake. I wonder if I'm just keeping the reds in play because they will uh, go through explosions and like fire type of attacks. Nikita. Oh, yep. wow. From deep, though. Yep. I believe that's the first game Key got on the board here. 2-1. Yes, one. it is. And what an answer from Key. I mean, a two stock nonetheless. So I'm hip. Uh, sitting pretty with uh, two games above Key. So he's got a, a solid little cushion, but he's definitely going to want to close it out right now because once it gets to a game five, the pressure is on. Yeah, it's and like it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, you don't want to lose. And you don't want to get reverse PO'd. Yeah. I feel like the pressure is definitely more on the person that's yeah. like been up 2-0 and then they suddenly have to deal with something that brought it back to like game five. We'll see what happens here. If uh, Key even has enough momentum to just try turn this all the way back around to his favor. Looking pretty good so far, though. All right, which one? Which throw is that? The body slam? Is that his forward throw? Oh, his up throw where he just oh, like, throw, sends him upwards after that the fight. That makes sense. Kind of like a suplex or something. Like, it looks like it should be a down throw, right? It sends upwards. It's an up throw. I got it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't play brawl like that, guys. I love his down throw. The free tech chase you get. <laughs> It was way, way more like abusive in Brawl though. That, that's the funny part about this character Snake is that you know he's got this like crazy up tilt, he's got uh, F tilt, and like all that, all those things were just better, yeah. better in Brawl. And he had Dacus. Yeah, but they're still so good in this game. Yeah. <laughs> which just goes to tell you. Yeah. So uh, if you're complaining about Snake, go play some Brawl. If you can find a copy. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get that game. I'm hip gets yeah. a parry and a forwarder out of it too. Yeah, I'm hip looking so good right now. Yeah. Still on his first stock, 85%. He already uh, at 80 himself, so oh, halfway to kill percent, I would say. He looking for that up tilt, gets an F tilt instead, setting up Nikita. Oh my wow, god! Wow, that hit from so deep in I'm, the blast zone. I I'm couldn't hit. even see Olimar anymore. I am hit did not want to get hit by that, man. He went so low trying to avoid it. Yeah. It was just all for nine. Honestly, like, if I'm being real, I rarely see people avoid that. Like, no, yeah. it, it's, it's so the accuracy good. on it's the really Nikita good. is, like, so high. But, uh, dang, he actually just rolled and F smashed him after he was holding jab in the opposite direction for way too long. I'm not sure what he was trying to accomplish there. But uh, now he finds himself on his last stock tournament stock. Did the Pikmin have the grenade in his hand when he grabbed them and he just blew up? Yes. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that new <laughs> mechanic of the Pikmin just carrying items back to Olimar. It's like a double-edged sword because if Army was not paying attention, he can't. He doesn't have enough time to throw the item back at Snake. In this case, meaning the grenade. Back throw, here's a possible edge guard key going really low and to the opposite uh, side. Oh, it was not a good call. I don't want to see that happen. I don't know 